All right, so one of the things I wanted to test is I wanted to test to see if stuff with the macro toolbar was still working. And on top of that, I got a request for this over on Patreon. And thank you for the input. All right, so what I want to do is I want to add a save button and put an icon up here on the macro toolbar. And for those of you that don't know, the macro toolbar can be opened by clicking this little icon right here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very edge of these little icons. Going to right click and we're going to say new group. And once we do that, we're going to right click on that just once and change this to a save group. So now I want to click on this and add a new button. And then I want to right click on this and I want to say assign. We're going to assign a command and we're going to look for save. Perfect. And I'm going to click OK. And there we go. So now if I click on this button, it'll save. Now, if I wanted to add a little icon, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say icon select image. And on the desktop, I have this little save icon I created. Click this once, say open. And there you go. Now, if you don't want the word save there also, you can right click on that and double click here and then just erase the word save. Perfect. So let's do this one more time. Right click. We're going to say new button. Going to right click again. We're going to say assign. We're going to say assign command. And now this time. I'm actually going to do a save as button. There it is. And if I want, I can add a little icon by right clicking. Say icon, select image. And select this one again. Boom. There we go. So now with this one, I can actually put the word save back. There we go. Since the icons are the same. There we go. Save and save as. Pretty simple. All right. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, uh, if you guys already knew that. Leave a note in the comments. And if you didn't, I hope it helps. I'll see you all in the next video.